Welcome guys to another video, uh, this one a finally another Solo 100 video. I'm starting this one on Clarence Drive again. There's the donkey sitting here with an amazing view. And what I'm doing this trip, same rules apply, it's the Solo 100 series but this is the Solo 100 South. So I'm going 100 k's in a direction then finding somewhere to camp and then the next morning 100 k's in that direction again finding somewhere to camp and from there then kind of make my way home so three nights of camping i've probably got around 30 k's to go still for the 100 k's to be completed i figured i'd start the video here why not so that puts me at a place called betty's bay so betty's bay just down the coast and yeah so i'm gonna try and find a camp near betty's bay I actually would like to try and wild camp tonight, so I'm gonna actually try that, see if I can get wild camping right. If I can get the wild camping right, then, yeah, then I'll be quite happy. But, you know, being SA and being not all that safe, uh, we'll, we'll see. Let's see what this one has to offer. Here goes. Uh. turned off the tar and I'm now heading on a dirt road which says dead end. Uh, I know there's a road that goes through here because I saw it on Google Earth. So I'm going to now try and follow it and kind of get to where I think I want to camp. Yeah, I mean, let's, let's see what it has at the end of this. but. Um, for now, it seems to keep going. It's not the dead end that you know the road sign said. So yeah, wild camp looking promising for now. But let me try and get there and see uh, see if I actually can camp there. Well, I'm gonna assume it's pretty safe to camp here. I haven't seen any signs of any people. There's like literally to the point that there isn't even litter. So I assume no people don't actually come here. Whoa. Okay, that's not drivable. Huh. Okay, so I've reached, well, kind of reached the area I was intending on camping in. Uh, the road kind of comes up here and you can see it's pretty pretty rutted so you can't really can't really drive that I'm gonna go have a look see if I can actually drive this but I don't really think so I mean I technically I could get the car through here but if it does it again okay well it's not too bad I can come up here and go down there so I, I intended on camping kind of there-ish somewhere um, maybe I should just carry on. Uh, I reckon I'm gonna carry on. Try and see where it ends up.
not 100% happy with the angles of all of this. I think I'm going to have to come really close here and kind of come up and over that way. These rocks are quite sharp, so... I nearly got stuck there. <laughs> Do you guys see that? Okay, so that little path is a little bit too worn to get through and the donkey is actually sliding into that right, right. So I'm going to quickly have a squiz around the other side if I can maybe drive through something else. See if it would be a bit safer. Um, I'm, not, I'm not here to take chances, obviously. So I don't really want to do anything that if I can avoid any, any bad stuff happening, I'm going to avoid it. I'm not doing that one. So I'm going to try and walk through here and see if there's any way I can get through. These rocks are really big, so, you know, I'm knocking. I got stuck on the leaf coming out of there as well. Yeah, I mean, you can see how big these rocks are. So to get the, the donkey through here, it's going to be a little difficult. Um, and quite honestly, I don't know if it's worth it. Wild camp here. At least I got a little bit of a clear area where I can make a fire in my bry. So yeah, I think it's pretty safe, pretty secluded. But I think I'm now spoiled for where I'm camping. I mean, that does not suck. Pretty beautiful, the town of Betty's Bay. It's just at the bottom down there. Mountains all around me. And I think it's great. I think it's going to be a nice camp. I will stick around a little bit before I pitch tents and all the rest of that stuff just to make sure that I'm 100% secluded and alone and safe. And once I'm convinced of that, then I'll light my fire. So I thought about trying that whole ASMR kind of sounds of camping thing. And what I realized is I have too much conversation in my head to keep quiet we argue up here all of us it's never quiet
it was a pretty interesting night's sleep um, obviously other than your mind playing tricks on you I had the wind and it paneled me all night so I knew I parked in the wrong direction but you know what can you do I basically I removed the poles from the tent from the like the rain flap because they were they were like bending and going nuts in the wind and I was just like no I'm just either gonna lose one or I'm gonna break one so I just I removed them completely but yeah geez I mean you can see the tent's even looking sorry for itself this morning I'm gonna make some coffee and then I'm gonna have some breakfast and probably head to my next camp I'm all packed up and just about ready to hit the tough trail I had coming up here I've now got to get down it so it took about an hour to get up here I think it's gonna take about the same to get down and then yeah then I'm gonna make my way the next hundred K's see where I end up and hopefully I find something awesome uh, I'm really looking forward to maybe doing another wild camp um, tomorrow or tonight actually yeah here's to hoping uh, I really do hope I find a wild camp it was interesting you know being so close to a town I mean as the crow flies down to Betty's Bay I'd probably say I'm about I don't know K, K and a half maybe a little more but um, so you know you always throw caution to the wind when you're doing wild camps especially when you're close to towns and when you can't really tell what's out there but um, this was a not a bad camp I've left it as I found it as you can see time to get going adventure awaits
morning, it's time for a new pair of shades. Which one should we wear today? I think let's go with the camo pair. What do you guys reckon? Camo? Yeah. Perfect. case I'm actually just over I'm at 113 <coughs> I was going to go down that road to a place called Plyke's Kroll uh, as I was driving in a fidelity card vehicle stopped me and they said to me that uh, they basically asked me where I was going and I said to them, I'm going to Plyke's Kroll and they said to me what for and I said no, I want to camp there and they said you definitely cannot camp there so I said to them why what's what's the issue with camping there and they said no it's it's not a it's not that you can't camp there, you probably could, but safety is a major factor at the moment. It is one of the Palamun poaching capitals of SA. Um, and he said they're patrolling the beach day and night to try and curb the, the poaching issue. So unfortunately, that's a bit of a bust. So drove that little bit extra and it didn't pay off. So I've got another idea in mind. A uh, little bit further down the road, so I'm breaking the 100, but you know, I think it'll work out for the best. I ended up doing 100. 34 k's for today and the place just up the road so not too bad i guess i mean 34 k's over uh, it's unfortunate i was within the range when i went to plucky scroll but that wasn't gonna work unfortunately just based on safety i'd rather not so it is what it is and that's part of the adventure i guess i'm gonna go in here this is an old salt factory so coming here is pretty cool like i said the old salt factory or something of the likes the last time i came here it was open dry pan and now it's like it's like a lake that's pretty funny oh looky yeah mr hannes from van ventures that's all right now i don't have to uh, come and park here on my own. It's gonna be good fun. I have Mr. Hannes. Oh, yes That makes my life happy How's it going dude? How's it going bro? So how random is this? I arrive here uh, and I find Hannes' car here. He's also doing a trip. He wants to test his gear out. I arrive here at this dunes that's a little bit outside of the 100Ks and well, Hannes is here. I can't say I'm disappointed in seeing him. So it changes from a solo 100 to Roland and Hannes camping in the dunes. How's it going, buddy? What are you doing here? <laughs> well, my first... Hello, uh, lekker, lekker, lekker. How's it going? Fine and you? Lekker, man. My um, camp didn't work out at Plucky's Prime or Plucky's Crawl. I, I thought you were going that side today. I was. Got stopped by Fidelity Guards and they said to me that there's too much of a poaching issue and it's unsafe. So. I heard that the other day. They told us it's, um, it's bad now with the poaching on that side. So. They don't want the people to go in there anymore. Yeah, yeah. So, so I, I thought, you know, last night after nipping myself in the mountains, I just think, you know, why do it two nights in a row? I Especially saw that if pictures. you've been told. It's amazing. I saw that pictures. Yo. Yeah. It, it, oh. it was great, but you guys know how bad the wind was. I mean, you've seen it firsthand from the video so far. I don't think it's going to be any different here. The wind is bad. 
but I, I think I'm going all I'm going camping in the dunes tonight. Yeah, I think I'm going to uh, join you. That was my idea was to come this side. Oh, okay. It's just um, you know, why not? Either Arniston or Strays by, but nah. Um, let's let's hit the dunes. Yeah. Let's, let's hit, hit the, the dunes. Yeah. Lack man. Should we hit it? Okay. Let's go, bro. How random is that? I think that's so cool. We can camp in the dunes together. So as it's looking at the moment, we might not even make it to the dunes. We've just come across what looks like a little puddle, but I don't think it's a little puddle. Dude, I mean, only you know, I mean, I don't know how deep that is. It rained a lot this last two weeks here, so... Um, how deep do you I, think it is? I really don't know. I don't think it's they deep, do, that's but flowing. I don't, I don't know what's, what's going on there. It's that's really flowing? Moment. Yeah, I don't know what's going on there. I mean, uh, technically we should walk it first. I don't feel like walking it, so yeah, maybe we'll walk up, we drive up to it and to see, it, maybe see yeah. Yeah. if it yours goes in and then we just quite pull. Downing the hippo. <laughs> yeah, Version let's hope two. not. <laughs> At least I'm not in the front, eh? I think this is a bad idea, but let me get to the radio so I can actually talk to him. Quickly going to phone Andre. Um, just want to ask him what he thinks. Um, but it's it's getting soft there where I was. He's just going to phone the owner of the farm that we're going to go stay on, and then we'll we'll see. I, I'm not I'm not keen on drowning it. Maybe there's another way around or something that we can do. But that looks, that looks pretty hectic. <laughs> Maybe we won't be camping in the dunes either. Oh well. Okay, I'm not 100% happy about doing this, but I'm going to do it anyway. Uh, yeah, let's see. Stuck to low range second, and donkey seemed to manage it. No worries. That was pretty cool. Yeah. How did you find that? Lacquer. That was a lot deeper than I thought it was. It was. When I saw you going, yeah, in, I was like, middle. oh god. <laughs> Especially where it's flowing, I was like, oh jeez. Yeah. straight sail in and yeah look where we are now okay we've arrived at the farm at least so that helps at least there's no more muddy pools to deal with we'll get into the dunes and go from there now we're going to quickly deflate and then we're going to head into the dunes so the dunes are probably going to take us another half an hour maybe a little bit longer to actually get to um, where we intend on camping
have an amazing spot to cap in. But as you can tell by my fight in the wind, we've decided not to camp here. Which has a pretty amazing view. I mean, the sea is just there. It would be amazing to camp here, but I'm even fighting the wind. We can't. Unless the wind toes down, this is not happening. And we're gonna move to another camp that we hope is more protected. But I think Hannes is keen, I'm keen. My ears are full of sand, the car is full of sand. Hannes' ears, nose, beard is full of sand. But this would have been pretty cool to camp in if the wind wasn't an asshole. The wind is being an asshole today. But I suppose that's what you get when you want views like this, right? But we've got to change it. So we're going to move now. We're going to go to another camp. And hopefully it's better. Hannes and I finally selected a camp less windy than everywhere else. I say less because it's not great. It's not no wind. It's literally just less wind. And as you can see by the wobbly camera. I love and hate living in the Western Cape at the same time because camping up north was so easy. All we ever did was just go camping pitch your stuff and it just works it just looks good on camera now everything and nothing looks good on camera because it's flapping and it's blowing and it's we're cold we're in jackets but I suppose that's what the experience is and that's what I'm trying to give you guys is the experience of what I'm going through doing these trips you know welcome to the Western Cape and here comes the rain as you can see on the lens we're moving camps again the wind keeps pumping us, the rain now. Uh, so we're gonna move back to where we basically entered the dunes. I'm glad I met Hannes in the middle of nowhere and I've got some company for tonight. Tomorrow night, obviously alone again. But uh, yeah, <laughs> welcome to Touring 101, right? Hey, we finally found a camp. It's not the most ideal camp. We're camping next to the sheep. It's raining. Uh, we've picked the best we can. So the rain's coming from this side, this way. So we've put the awning out here. So we've lit a fire there. Hannes is busy pitching his tent there. We're gonna bry here. And yeah, this, this is us. So let me give you a little bit more of a perspective. At least you can hear me now on this camera because there's no wind. Well, very little wind. But that's where we've decided to camp. It's not the most spectacular camp. Do you know what it is? Functional. Much better night in terms of sleep, but it rained. I don't know what time it rained. Hannes is still with me. Maybe about three o'clock, but it came down in buckets. Um, we were in bed pretty early anyway. After a long day of driving around trying to find camps and not being successful, 
the sheep have already been let out and uh, yeah we're gonna sort out some coffee and all the rest of that and then I'm gonna head off to my next destination um, next 100 k's on a more or less homeward bound way and Hannes I think is going to work I was just saying to Hannes now as well, remember the water on the way in. With all the rain last night, I think that's going to be a lot deeper as well. So it might not be as easy to get out as we got in. I actually don't know. There isn't really much of a choice. Kind of have to cross it, have to get out. So I hope it's not all that much deeper. Hannes will go first. Uh, <laughs> I don't mind that. Good luck to him. mud seems to be over and now heading to on this dirt road heading in a northeasterly direction currently and yeah then this is where Hannes and I are gonna pretty much part ways and I'm gonna carry on with the rest of the solo trip that's it Hannes and I have parted ways back to being solo I have let me have a look I am now 94 k's away from Grayton and apparently an hour and 20 minutes. So yeah, weather's not looking great again, uh, but it is what it is. Let's just hope for good things to come. I'm just gonna cut this belt. It's the aircon belt, so it doesn't really matter. I don't need aircon today because it's not even warm. So there we go, aircon, sort, no aircon, and uh, well, you know, that's that. The whole bearing inside there is literally gone. Sure. 
So that's going to be a bit of a task to get out at a later stage. But you can see how much of a problem that is. I don't know if you can see it. Check it. That whole thing is bust. I mean, the bearing is not even in there anymore. Shit. The bearing's actually stripped. Like there's nothing left of the bearing. Oh, well, but at least that problem's solved. And I can jump back in the car and carry on going. It's literally a hundred k's from on the dot from when I left this morning, so <laughs> it works. I mean, you know, what a stroke of luck. I'm not even going to bother looking for another camp because there's no point. I'm right here. It's great in Twin River Camp. Hopefully, I can get a spot by the river, but it is a Monday afternoon, so I don't think that will be an issue. So let's see if they even open. That would be a first prize. I think one of the biggest things for this trip is going to be how much rain I've had to deal with. I mean, under the awning again, if you look at the dam or river, it's raining again. It's not heavy rain at the moment, thankfully, but it comes and goes. Like the sun comes out, then it rains, then the sun disappears, then it rains even harder, and then the sun comes out.
Good morning from a very misty morning at camp. Sun's trying to come up through all this mist and the clouds and I'm trying to get some solar going but it doesn't seem to be working. Um, pretty cool night, not cold, um, even though it looks like I'm freezing. I'm not freezing. It's been quite a nice trip to be honest. I've thoroughly enjoyed this trip. All the unexpected stuff that happened and uh, I think it kind of worked out for the best. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. And uh, yeah, I would call Solo 100 South an absolute success. I think that uh, definitely achievable with camps 100 k's away from home. And yeah, I think now it's time to have a cup of coffee and hit the road back to Cape Town. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, hit the like button, click subscribe, click the bell icon. Appreciate your support guys, thanks very much, see you soon.